Okay, I don't know if you know, but Jennifer Nettles tweet just tweeted at you and said, sang. Uh, I just saw that, and I was like, ah! <laughs> Does that freak you out? That's amazing. Th that's so awesome. I mean, I, you, I was excited to be on stage, and then come off stage and find out Jennifer Nettles tweeted at me. It's really, really awesome. It means the world to me. And I know you're probably sick of hearing this, but your mic went out. What goes through your head in that moment? A total freak out. <laughs> You held it together. Oh, oh man, inside I was crumbling, but I wanted to just finish strong. Whether it be audible or not, I was still going to be on that stage giving my everything because I was not going to walk off that stage feeling like I could have given more. I don't think you could give any more because <laughs> I was so good. Now, you made it to the top 12. If you make it on in the competition, what's one song that you're dying to sing? There are way too many to even name, but I think maybe a Johnny Cash song. Oh, yes. Can you give any, just a little clue as to which one? Folsom Prison, if I could. I think it would be really cool to put my spin on something like that. It's like such a classic and not many females do Johnny Cash. I would love that. So we're going to play Would You Rather. Oh. Would you rather have hiccups for the rest of your life or feel like you need to sneeze and not be able to? Ooh, I think I'd rather have hiccups because it's kind of funny. I get them quite often and it's so bad when I'm singing and I get hiccups. That's the funniest part, but you just roll with it. Just you probably going. keep your cool. We saw you keep your cool when your mic goes out. Everything, you just kind of go with the punches. <laughs> okay, would you rather have the ability to read minds and be illiterate or just be able to read? Just be able to read. I'm okay with not knowing everything that's going on in people's minds. <laughs> would you want to know what the coaches are thinking? Yes, but I think they verbalize most of it, so I'm pretty okay with that. You know, what's your message to your fans who have voted you through and are going to keep voting you through? My message to my fans, Merlin Nation, you are fantastic, and I couldn't ask for a better following, a better fan base, a better support. And just, I'm not going to let you guys down, so I appreciate everything. Thank you so much. Awesome. Good luck. Appreciate Can I get a picture of you? Yeah, let's